you can begin to experience the awe and the wonder that's here if you bring the attitude of awe and wonder with you. You know, I could see peace instead of this. I could see love instead of this. I could see God instead of this, because we're all one with this force, this power, and it's in you and it's operating through you, but many of us don't see it, you know? We're, we're lost. And the thing about the universe, it's always attempting to get you back to that place. And as you get there, suddenly a vast new world of beauty appears, and it opens up within you in such a way that you will reflect that beauty in your own life. You will begin to make things around you beautiful, because you have the power to do so. It's like some people, they're working their jobs, but when no one's around, they don't do their jobs well. They might be thinking, I don't have to do anything, the boss is not here. Instead of recognizing it's not about whether the boss is here or the boss isn't here. It's about you, you know, what you contribute, you know, whatever you're working on ought to be worthy of you. You know, you, you put all of yourself into your endeavors. In the same sense, when you're committed to seeing beauty, you create the beauty around you whether anyone has seen it or not, because you can. You are expressing it, and as you do, it's natural. You, I, we are individualizations of this God life, and it's very natural once we wake up to it, and you want to express more of it. And this is true not only in the things you have around you, but in the way you relate to each other, and the way you relate in a caring way to, to life itself and to people. Assume a virtue, if you have it not, and practice it. An actual realization of the presence of God is the most powerful healing agency known to us. So you have the ability to really wake up to realize I have this thing within me. You know, who me, with all my sins? Yeah, I have it within me. And it's truly transformative once you awaken to you have that power within you. And it's always trying to get your attention. If you wake up to that, then things start really happening. You're in the presence of it. It's part of you. You're in the place of awe and calm and peace. That So nothing really can disturb you when you're in that place. Your mind is full of peace. The comings and goings of life will always be doing that. They will be coming and going. But there is a point in you that's not disturbed by anything. You're centered in God awareness. and The whole world could be doing its thing. and So nothing's going to touch you because you're established in that place. You're about what we used to call your father's business. You're not interested in the garbage. You're not interested in the gossip. You're not interested in any of that stuff. More and more as time goes by, you just, you let people spin because people will spin. You don't have to spin. You can be centered in a different place.